Hi guys, it's Rach. It is favourites time again. It's going to be my May favourites video. However, I miss both March and April favourites, which is totally unlike me. So I have a kind of combination of March, April, May favourites to share with you guys. A lot of products, so I'm going to jump straight into it. I'm going to start off with the nail polish because I don't often include nail polishes but I love and adore this one. It's a limited edition one, I believe, or a special edition one by Nails Inc. This is part of the Victoria Beckham, or Victoria by Victoria Beckham collection. It's the shade Bamboo White, which is this gorgeous shade that I'm wearing on my nails right now. It's a classic light kind of off-white, slightly pink toned shade that I think is just stunning, but it's the, also the formulation of this nail polish that I love. It's easy to apply, it's thick but not too thick, it goes on op opaque in a couple of coats which is very rare for such a light shade and it just seems to suit your complexion or my skin tone quite nicely. It just, I love it. It's a great go-to shade when you can't think of what shade to wear. This is the one that I have been chucking on lately. For makeup, I have two mascara favorites. One is a, a repeat one that I had in my favorites video. I think at the end of last year, it's the Max Factor Masterpiece Transform High Impact Volumizing Mascara. I've just been using this non-stop, pretty much, almost exclusively, which is why I felt like it needed to be mentioned again. It's just a great small brush giving you volume and length, very sort of dramatic lashes, which is exactly what I go for. If you are in the States and can't get a hold of Max Factor, the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer, I think it's called, It's it's got a similar like shaped packaging, but it's uh, blue and like a, a lime green color. That is the dupe for this or the sort of sister product because CoverGirl and Max Factor are sister brands. So if you can't get your hands on this one, check that one out. I think you will love it. My other favorite is from Sephora. This is the Outrageous Curl Dramatic Volume Curl, gr Dramatic Volume and Curl Curve. Oh my goodness. Let's try that one again. The Outrageous Curl Dramatic Volume and Curve Mascara. Kind of cool twisty packaging. It's a small, quite dense brush. Packs on a lot of product. Very dramatic. Not as great for the lower lashes, I'm finding. It can kind of transfer a little bit and maybe be a bit too heavy, but great for the top lashes to give you volume and drama. I just, I really, really like it. It's 20 bucks from Sephora, so not too expensive. On the blush front, I've been absolutely loving these Max Factor Cream Puff blushes. I have multiple shades, and I just think that they look really nice on the cheeks. They're easy to apply. I am naturally a bit heavy-handed when it comes to br brushes or applying brush and makeup, applying blush and makeup in general. I'm getting so tongue-tied today, but these are just they go on so nicely. I never over apply. They give a slightly luminous finish to them. Probably my most used one is this one here. It is called Lavish Mauve. Really, really nice, particularly for the autumn, winter. Love it, love it, love it. My absolute 100% favorite foundation combo of the last sort of month or so has been the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops with the MAC Face and Body Foundation. These are a match made in heaven. I love this combo. I particularly love the custom cover drops. I think that they're fantastic. I've been going on a little bit of a, an experimentation binge, I guess you could call it, and have been mixing these with anything and everything that I can find. And so far, they're mixing well with a lot of products. They're just the bomb. Fantastic, fantastic product. And this combo is what I'm wearing today and is what I've been wearing quite a bit this month. I just love the way it looks on my skin. It looks light and fresh, but has almost like full coverage. I don't even need to use a concealer with it. Lasts all day. Two big thumbs up from me. Another base product that I've absolutely been adoring are these Models Prefer Mineral Powder Soft Touch Powders. I have two shades. I have the Radiant Bronze shade, which I just love for bronzing up the face, along the cheekbones, along the jawline, just wherever I want to add a little bit of extra color, particularly since I'm getting more pale as we move further into the autumn and winter season here in Australia. Really, really nice. Not shimmery, but can give you a little bit of a glow. Great, great product and inexpensive, which is what I love. And then I also have here the Soft Focus shade, which again is great. I can use this all over my face. It reminds me a lot in terms of coloring of the dim light, ambient lighting powder. It's just like a natural skin color with a slight, slight, slight pink tone. Very, very light, but you can add it all over the face, use it to set. If you are a deeper skin tone, you can probably use it as more of a subtle highlight shade. 
I just, I utterly adore these. A recent skincare favorite of mine is actually one that was sent to me. It's from the Jojoba Company and it's their 100% natural jojoba with rosehip oil. So if you've been following my videos for a while, you know that I use the Jojoba Company jojoba oil and I also do enjoy my rosehip oils. I have them here and I tend to sort of switch them up depending on what my skin's doing. I like to use oils sometimes on their own, sometimes underneath a moisturizer, sometimes with a serum or just in place of a serum depending on how my skin's feeling. I really, really like both jojoba oil and rosehip oil. So the idea of mixing them together, genius. Why did I not think of that? It What it does is it kind of gives your rosehip oil a little bit more slip. Rosehip oil, it can be quite, um, it's a dry oil, and jojoba oil is a little bit more oily. So mixing them together just kind of makes that perfect balance. Really, really like that one. have been using that pretty much since I got it, just each night underneath my moisturizer to keep my skin hydrated. Another makeup favorite, it's more like a product... I guess area in general and it is highlighters. I've been loving highlighters. I feel like highlighters are really having their moment on YouTube at the moment. We go through phases where it's all about foundation or it's all about the contouring or it's all about the, I don't know, lip products. At the moment it is all about the highlighters and I want them all. I've been really enjoying the Benefit What's Up. This is a really pretty kind of creamy almost skin colored highlight it, it has a gold reflect to it and i feel like if you just apply it to the tops of your cheekbones you can get that really like victoria's secret model kind of glow really really like that one i've also been enjoying the uh, becca shimmering skin perfecta in pearl this one is just stunning it's like you've been kissed by heaven and sunlight and i just i really really like that on my cheeks i've also been enjoying using my l'oreal lumi magique uh, pure light primer and mixing that with my um, custom custom cover drops from cover effects just to give myself a really sort of glowy luminous look that's kind of more all over the face loving the highlighters at the moment if you've got a favorite let me know because I want them all I want them all I want to know what the best highlighter you have found is Lastly for makeup, I wanted to mention a couple of lip product favorites. The first is one of the Sheer Revolution uh, lipsticks by Urban Decay. This one's in Sheer Liar, a really pretty natural everyday color. Finally got my hands on it because it went out of stock straight away when launched in Australia. So you can tell it's clearly a popular and a favorite by or a lot of people. It's just that perfect pinky, nudie, brownie color, great for every day. It currently lives in my handbag and it feels really comfortable on the lips as well. So when I'm in doubt or I don't have a lip product on or it's worn off or I forgot to put something on in the morning, this has been my go-to. And then, of course, it is autumn and winter. I am all about the dark lip products. I'm all about them all year anyway, pretty much. You guys know me. Rachel Color is pretty much a burgundy, plummy shade, but I had to give mention to something that's literally just gone walkies on me. Where did it go? It was in front of me. I just applied it. Where did you go? Oh, <laughs> I put it away, but here it is. It is the Rimmel Kate Moss number 107. Not a new one, but it deserves a mention because it is my most worn lipstick probably Ever. and I love it and I love it for this season and I know that a lot of you are in the northern hemisphere and are going into summer but we are currently in autumn here in Australia and I love autumn colors and this is definitely my favorite autumn winter lipstick so that's it for my beauty favorites I do have some random favorites a fashion favorite of mine has been these shoes these are from Payless shoes here in Australia they're by the brand American Eagle and they're just some heeled kind of Oxfords or brogues, I don't know exactly what you call them, but I've been really enjoying wearing these with stockings and a skirt or stockings and a dress or underneath jeans. I just think they're really cute. They're a little bit old fashioned, but I I love them. They're very kind of Taylor Swift in style. I feel like this is something that she wears a lot, but I utterly adore these. They weren't particularly expensive and I can see them getting a lot of use over the coming months. I also have a couple of candle favorites. I have one that's burning in the background there. It's like that hot pink container. That's actually a glass house candle and it's the pink sorbet scent, I believe. It's a limited edition for the month of May. Uh, it, it's in support of the Jane McGrath Foundation and breast cancer research or supporting people with breast cancer. It smells amazing. It's like fruity, kind of, I can't remember, like kind of sort of tropical in a way. Not particularly autumn scented but 
I absolutely love it. I almost want to go out and buy another one because I love it so much and I know that it's not going to be available forever. And the other one is actually a birthday gift. This is by the brand Coco Lux Australia, which I haven't seen in store. I think it's like in random stores and you can also get it online. If you do a Google search, you might be able to find it. This is the scent Sweet Pomegranate and Acai and it smells like heaven. And it has that copper packaging that I am all about at the moment. Before I finish off with song favorites, I do have a tech favorite. This is my new baby. It's a camera that I've been using for vlogging recently, but also just to take photos. It's a Canon EOS M3. It just launched at the start of the month, the end of April, start of May. I adore it. It's kind of like a compact DSLR camera, so it has interchangeable lenses that you can use and there's actually an adapter so I can use my full size lenses on this as well. And it has all the settings that you get with a DSLR, but it's a mirrorless compact system camera, so you kind of don't have the size of a big bulky DSLR. I've loved it for taking photos at special events where I, I usually want to take my big camera but I feel a little bit like it's too much to carry. Sometimes you're at events and there's a professional photographer and it looks like you're trying to be professional when I am not professional when it comes to photography at all but this one is great. It also has the cool flip up screen so if I wanted to film actual YouTube videos on it I could or if you want to take selfies or vlog or whatever you can. I've just been utterly adoring this. You guys know me and my love for anything technology. I was feeling a little bit down and a bit antsy because I hadn't, I hadn't bought anything new. No new phones or cameras or computers or anything for a long time. So when this was launched, I knew that we had to, we had to meet and I've been enjoying it so much. So that's definitely been a favorite of mine over the past month and a little bit. And then, of course, we have to finish off with song favorites. I have a few song favorites that I've been loving for the last few months. Um, Shut Up and Dance by Walk the Moon. Love that song. Every time it comes on, I just, I want to dance and I want to sing and I want to party. And it's like one of those songs that just lifts your mood straight away. Um, Georgia by Vance Joy. Love him and love that song. My Blood by Ellie Goulding. Really, really like that one. Um, what else have I been loving? I've been loving a lot of James Bay. Um, Let It Go is definitely one of my favorites from him. Uh, uh, what else do I have here? Tenery C by Ed Sheeran and just Ed Sheeran's uh, Multiply album in general. I went and saw Ed Sheeran, definitely a favorite um, of the last few months in concert with my sister and he was amazing. So, so talented. He's, he just, he blows my mind what he can do and how he can make a, an entire show and it feels like there's a, a whole band on stage of backup singers and everything and it's just him. It's just him. And he does it. it seriously, you see him live and your mind just blows. I, I can't I can't even control it. But I loved him and he recently um, at Rock and Rio did that with Taylor Swift. Seriously, I, I died a little bit inside. I love Taylor Swift. I love him. I love that song. Seeing them to perform it together was just amazing. That is it for my May slash March slash April favorites. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any favorite products, whether they be beauty or skincare or random music, movies, songs. Oh, I didn't even mention movie favorites. What are my movie favorites? The Duff. Loved The Duff. I quite enjoyed Cinderella. Loved Pitch Perfect 2. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to see that. And there's probably something else I'm forgetting, but whatever favorites you have to share with me, definitely share them with me in the comments below or leave me a link to your favorites video. Also, uh, I will have a list of all the products that I mentioned in the description box, so check that out if you missed anything. There's also my social media links there, so come subscribe or follow or like or whatever it is that you need to do on any of them. I would love to talk to you there. Other than that, I hope you guys are all having an awesome day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said I'm holding back. She said shut up and dance with me. Okay, what are my favorites? I've got too many products in front of me.